All right, so we've done third-party plugs, we've done lives, instruments. One important thing is this external instrument. If you were to open this folder, you'd see nothing other than just a current project folder. What this is, is the easiest way to configure all your pawn shop MIDI-based synthesizers right into live. I'm just drag this thing over, I get an empty bucket, Sitting on the desk right next to me is my 1998 Waldorf Microwave XT, which doesn't see as much use as, as she once did. Let's change it. Okay, I've got my external instrument. I've got some ins and outs here, but in the track viewer, clip viewer, whatever they call that deal, I have this external instrument. Now I just need to send MIDI out of my computer down the pike so right now when I say uh, no output, I get a configure menu. Dang. Right now I can tell you true that I am sending MIDI into live. I can see it right there. That's because my Adderall is on. The problem is, is my Adderall, the outputs are not on. I turn this on, go back, and then here I'm going to just select one. Dang. And now if I open this up, I'm getting MIDI. All right, so I want to hear that, though, because I have to turn this into audio for live to be able to process it. So let's configure it. Input. Um, my is coming in on 7 and 8. I'm going to record a clip. And this is easy as can be. Here we go. Just set a scene, fire off a scene. Okay, press stop, take it out. Now I have MIDI. Well, let's play this back. Okay, and I just got to correct the loop length there. All right, so how do I change patches within this deal? I do it right here. I'm going to just program change and go to another patch. That's kind of cool. So that is uh, configuring and recording an external MIDI instrument within your live session.